That's right, as you saw in the thumbnail, unless I changed it, you can pull aux and even RCA cables from an HDMI cable. Now, no, you won't be going in here to do any rewiring because the cables here transmit digital audio format. And this does an analog audio format. So we'll need something to make them both compatible. This device here will do just that plus one more thing. See, this will change or convert your digital audio to analog so that it can pass through an aux cable to your speaker system. Instead of into your TV, you'll plug your HDMI cable here and your aux cable on the other side. Now so far that's typical of an audio converter, but on top of that, this will also let us continue our HDMI video out to our TV. Let's have a look at this map diagram and see just what I'm talking about. Then we'll do a demonstration to check if it works because I haven't even proved it to myself yet. Okay, let's go have a look at the map. What's happening here is a splitting of the video and audio signals that are both coming from this single HDMI cable. The video signals will continue to our TV through another HDMI cable while the audio signal is extracted to separately make its way to an aux speaker or a receiver through an aux input. And that's really it in a nutshell. The special thing about this device is that it keeps our video signal going while extracting the audio out through aux. And that's why these converters can also be known as HDMI audio extractors. Okay, so here we have a typical HDMI device connected to our TV, but we wanna go ahead and hear that from there. However, there's only one cable. So what we're gonna do is actually, we're gonna take our cable out and then put it into our converter here. This, we're gonna put it in the HDMI inside. Okay, so there it has it now. Okay. Now, what we'll do next is uh, we want to get the audio over here, so we'll do so with this cable. And actually, as a matter of fact, I already have um, my aux cable ready to go. Aux and both are kind of the same, so it doesn't really matter. So for now, I'll go ahead and plug this into here. See how it says it's green? That means it's got the signal. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and continue with my connection. I'm going to bring this speaker a little closer there. What I'll need now is another HDMI cable, which by the way was included with this purchase. Anyway, our extra HDMI cable will go into our converter's HDMI out port. This will forward my media player's video signals to my TV once it gets plugged in. Now here I'm gonna be waiting to see if anything shows up on the TV, but then I remember that my converter isn't even plugged into power yet. But then the unexpected. Looks so, like the HDMI oh, cable well, is powering see. the converter, really but to be fully convinced that it's working go all the way, I need see. to actually hear something come out of the speaker. Oh, well what is that? Is that the audio from here or not? See, that could just be the TV we hear. So let me play something and then we'll find out by turning the TV down. Well, I can hear it. It is coming out of this. What if I put the volume down here, what happens? Oh, see? It's still coming out of here. Volume down. For some reason it's not working, but anyway. I said I didn't need this to connect it to there, but if I did, this TV has HUSB, so I would have been able to connect it with power, but I don't even need that. So there you have it, it works. Here are some other videos you may also find useful. Like to help me, share to help out others, and sub to stay in the loop. You can even support directly with the YouTube thanks button. Hope you get connected and I'll see you on the next one.